So let's take a look at Android 15 AOS PB custom ROM for Redmi Note 9 Pro, Pro Max, Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 10 Lite and Poco M2 Pro. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see the about of this ROM. So this is Android 15 based AOS PB custom ROM maintained by Paperboy. The security update is of 5 November 2024. The kernel used in this ROM is 4.14.355 OpenLA Kinesis kernel. And this doesn't come with kernel issue. But yes, this ROM has safety net. As you can see in the Play Store, the device is certified. So you will not have any issues using payment apps and any safety net related apps like MyGeo or any banking applications. So I was in the about section. So this is the about. I mean system, we get the miscellaneous and in miscellaneous we only get the battery styles. Here we can customize the battery status style and battery percentage. And we have backup option here. You can choose what to backup on your Google account. Then we have system updates and moving on in the security and privacy we get device unlock and in device unlock we get screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. And all are working fine as you can see the fingerprint is working. Talking about the face unlock, you can see the face unlock is also working. Now moving on we have privacy dashboard, private space that we get in Android 15. Here you have to enter your fingerprint and set up the private space and this takes some time. And in private space you can choose screen lock or use a new lock. That's different from your screen lock. And when it says all set you can just click on done and you will get the private space right here and it takes the face unlock but that you can change from the settings and here you can set up all new accounts that you have or any private account that you want to access so this is the private space i hope you all know until now now moving back to the settings if i go to more security and privacy option we get show media on lock screen and all the other settings like extend unlock etc then coming back to the settings main ui we have accessibility in accessibility there is no extra options all are just like android 14 and in wallpaper and style we get the new ui that is working fine and in more lock screen options we get the privacy and here you can add any text that you can display on lock screen then we have dynamic clock lift to check phone and the lift to check phone is working fine you can see there is no issue using it in display we get the tap to wake tap to sleep color contrast colors and in colors you can customize the color accuracy then we have display size and text and you can customize between these options and we get the adaptive brightness and we also get the adaptive brightness button right here and in that case let's talk about the tiles that we get so if i show you closely these are the tiles that are free set and in extra tiles we get these tiles you can see we have heads up ambient display extra dim color inversion screen record and some other options talking of the screen record let's try recording the screen so we get single app or entire screen so when i choose the entire screen and we get the audio control like the device audio or microphone audio or use both i have set device audio so when i start recording you can see there is no issue recording the screen and there is very less lags you can see a little bit lag is there although it's android 15 but the screen recording is having no problem but there is little lag that's it talking about the other tiles there is these tiles you can see dual camera storage calculator etc so that's it now this is the settings and in the reboot button we get restart and power off talking about the advanced reboot when I search for advanced we have advanced restart option so you can turn on the advanced restart from here and then when I click on advanced you can see we have four options those are restart bootloader and recovery and the system UI so it's good to have the system UI in the power menu because that's very useful when you are facing system UI lags or anything like that and sound and vibration we get these options so you can choose the audio device when you are connected to Bluetooth you can choose the audio output directly from here then we have phone ringtone live caption etc all the generic settings that we get in Android 15 now talking about the battery is the battery information you get the accurate battery capacity then the battery manager and the battery widget talking about the battery usage this is the battery usage 
and the battery backup is pretty good i got around six to seven hours of screen on time on normal usage if you are a heavy user then you will get around six hours of screen on time now in notifications we get the bubbles and we have do not disturb flash notification and the wireless emergency alerts blink light etc now in connected devices this is the ui there is nothing extra than android 14 then we have the network traffic indicator and you can choose hide network traffic indicator and the android 15 preview is working i just forgot about this the android 15 preview is here and there is no lag in the animation you can see it's fluid smooth and also the ui is really smooth i did not face any lag using it you can see the app opening speed is just instant and there is no major lag or even a slight lag you can see but sometimes when you use it in very heavy way there you may get some lags that's pretty normal but the ui is pretty smooth talking about the system application we get the miui camera and when i see the about you can see this is the miui 4.5 so this is MIUI camera, not Leica. And the camera is working fine. The slow-mo is working, even the 960 FPS. You can see I don't have any problem with this. I mean, there's no problem with the MIUI camera and also the macro camera is working fine, you can see. So the camera is fully working. Talking about other applications, we have Pixel Studio, but that's not working currently because it fails to verify the device because we don't have a Pixel device and Google Pixel is getting better and better every day in their security section so it's hard to use these pixel applications however in google photos we get unlimited storage as you can see the unlimited storage is working so that's pretty good and now talking about the performance let's start with the benchmark scores so i have untrue benchmark right here and as i posted in the in my channel i got 4,2814 score in the untrue and I did not use any script or any performance modules from Magisk and I did not even root it. As you can see, I don't have Magisk anywhere in the app drawer and the kernel issue is not present also. And it's by default. You can flash any kernel that supports kernel issue, but that's a different topic. Now moving to the other benchmarks, I tested the storage and you can see in CPDT benchmark, I got this course. I got 5 GBPS memory copy and 18 Mbps random read. And these are the sequential read and write speeds. So these speeds are really good. Talking about the other benchmarks, let me show you the screenshot. So this is the screenshot that I took. And you can see there is no CPU thermal throttling. So the performance that you are going to get in this ROM is really good. And the gaming performance will also be good. But the one drawback that I found in this ROM is when I open the BGMI, I cannot open it fully because it is unable to access the storage. However, in other games like Call of Duty, I did not have any problem like that. You can see Call of Duty opens flawlessly. There is no issue regarding the storage and the performance is also good. There was no trim drops and any other issues like that. You can see the Call of Duty app is opening and there is no issue you can see there is no issue and talking about the frame rate the frame rate is low ultra so you get the max settings unlocked but it's better if the bgmi worked but sadly that's not working so the proofs in this rom are working fine that are the google photos unlimited storage unlock max fps in games these both proofs are working and talking about the wide one certification we get the l1 right here as you can see so that's also a good thing so yeah that's basically it and if you talk about the dialer we get the google dialer and it alerts when you try to record the call but the call recording works and this is it talking about the payment apps you will not have any issues using the payment apps because the safety net is fully fast so when i run the safety net you will be able to see that we have basic integrity and CTS profile passed and the evaluation type is basic so you will not have any problems using banking apps or any other payment apps. So that's basically it for the review and the BGMI is not working as I said and I did not test it the WhatsApp that may also have problems. So despite that the ROM is working fine and the performance is good 
the proofs are working so there is no reason to avoid this rom you can definitely give it a try and it's android 15 so yeah that's it and i'm not going to do a gaming test because the bgm is not working that is most popular application for gaming test but the call of duty's performance in this rom is really good i tested it and it gives constant 57 to 60 fps and the display is of 60 fps so we cannot unlock any higher fps than that however that's a different topic so yeah that's it for this video if you want to know more about this rom make sure to comment below and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel i make stuffs like this so that's it for this video see you